If it's the case that you now need to combine all of your chapters when you're ready to make your final document, uh, there's an easy way of doing this. We don't recommend using copy and paste for copying text from other files across to compile it into one place. It can have issues with copying across formatting um, and, and as you've got your styles and things set up in, in your main document, it might not work. The way we recommend inserting that is using uh, the option to be able to insert text from another file. Uh, so on here, I'm going to go to the insert tab up at the top and then across to the right, uh, I, I have this option here to insert object. Sometimes uh, the text is missing and you may just see this small icon uh, on your screen. So it's just worth checking to see if you can find it there. If I press on the little drop down to the side of that, I have this option to be able to insert text from file. Um, by doing this, uh, I can quickly uh, search for my folder, find the chapter that I want to insert. Uh, and press insert. That will take uh, the text from that file, but apply it uh, uh, and apply my styles and my numbering successfully, um, as you can see here. When finishing your document, you may want to add uh, automatic uh, labels and captions for your tables, uh, figures and graphs. What I can do is I can actually use the caption option built into Microsoft Word to add these in automatically. Um, it will automatically uh, continue the numbering and it will then allow me to create an automatic list of tables or list of figures uh, up at the top of my document when I'm ready. So to do that, um, I'm going to go to the references tab and choose insert caption. Here, this allows me to choose whether I'm inserting a figure, an equation or a table. So I'm inserting a table. It's automatically showing me here what the, the numbering is going to look like. If I don't quite want it to look like that, I can go to this numbering option here. At the moment, it's going to include my chapter number, which is linked to heading one. So I'm currently in chapter two, which is why it's showing 2.1. Uh, I can untick if that if I want to, um, and that will just change it to table one across my whole document. If I do include the chapter number, I can decide the separator between those two digits. So if I change that to a hyphen, I'll see it like that. Uh, by pressing OK, that's automatically added my table number in. Uh, and as I click on it, I can now see that it's highlighted in grey and this is an automated field. If I make some changes or maybe add another table and I need to update this, I can right click on this and press update field. When I'm ready, I can go up to the top of my document and find the place where I'm going to insert uh, my table of figures. Again, up on the references tab, uh, where I have was using insert caption, I now have this option here for insert table of figures. You use this button the same for inserting uh, for figures or, or a list of tables. Uh, so here where it says caption label, I can choose whether I'm going to put my list of figures or my list of tables. So I'm going to choose table, uh, press OK, and that's automatically added in my caption as, as I added it. When inserting an image, there's a couple of things I can do as well. Uh, so the image I have here, uh, showing my tea leaves um, if I select the image and right click uh, I can also insert a caption uh, in the same way as I did previously uh, by then being able to choose um, if it's a table a figure or an equation so I might make this a figure um, press OK that also then allows me to create a caption also right clicking on an image I have the option uh, to edit the alt text uh, this is this this should be added for accessibility. Uh, so anybody reading using a screen reader um, should be able to use the descriptive text to know what the image is. Uh, also, uh, I have the option uh, to decide how this is wrapped around my text. Um, quite often, we recommend you keeping it in line with text, um, as this uh, this allows um, the text to be included afterwards. Um, and it stops the image from jumping around so much on the screen. Another handy tool that's worth knowing that if you need to keep text uh, and an image together on the same page, sometimes it, it may be that, that your 
image has moved onto the next page and isn't together with the text above it. Uh, there is something you can do to keep those together um, by highlighting the, the area of the text I want to keep, uh, including the picture. If I then go up to the Home tab and on Paragraph, I choose this tiny little um, button here to be able to expand out the paragraph settings. On line and page breaks tab, I have this option, second option down, keep with next. This allows me uh, to format my paragraph so things stay together when it goes over onto another page.